Let's be honest, traveling with kids is the best, but it requires next level packing, planning, and preparation. And so anything that can make my life easier, I'm all for. That's why today I wanna to talk to you about this beautiful contraption that we recently took with us on an international trip. I've never done a product review on my channel, so obviously I loved this enough to rave about it. Not sponsored, by the way, just genuinely made my life better and I wanna share it with you. Not only was this thing super helpful at the airport and in the airplane, but my two-year-old absolutely loved it as well, so it was a win-win-win. And believe me, I did a lot of research when it came to kids travel carry-ons, bed boxes, and everything like that, and all of the comparisons. So it all came down to one clear winner, at least something that checked all the boxes for us. So today I'm gonna talk to you all about why we chose this guy. By the way, my name is Jeannie. I am an Iceland travel expert, and my husband and I have been to over 50 countries together. So we know a thing or two about traveling and packing. Let's get into it. First things first, this is called the Jet Kids Bed Box by Stuka, which is a Swedish company. Again, I am not sponsored on this video. I wish I was. I love everything that that company does. And what it is, is it's a rolling slash ride on carry on suitcase with a bed inside. The idea for this is that your child can sit on top of the suitcase while you pull them through the airport, hold all their you know, goodies inside of here, and then ultimately lay out into a bed so they can sleep on the airplane and I will get into all of that on this video. Now, when your child is sitting on top of this suitcase, they're able to hold on to this orange strap here. And then, like I said, the parent is pulling onto this strap and leading them through the airport. Also, this strap is adjustable. And so I found that my toddler not only wanted to sit on top, but there were times that he wanted to pull it himself, of course. So when I was pulling, I had the strap out quite long. When I had my son pulling, then I just shortened it up. Okay, so the other thing is, is that the strap hooks here and here, but what's nice is that you can remove this strap and then you can hook this on the back side, and now you can hold this as a bag. I also did use this a couple of times. For example, if you're going up an escalator, or I found that actually walking in to the airplane, I wanted to do this method instead of rolling it or rolling my child. So it is nice to have those three options. Now I wanted to note that this is not a fast riding situation. You're not going to be like quickly rushing through the airport on this because while the wheels are 360 and it's easy to maneuver, I did find that if I was trying to pull too fast, or if you hit like a bump on the floor, then this has the tendency to be a little bit unstable. And since there are no safety straps as well to hold your child in, you just have to be mindful of that and just, you know, walk a little bit slowly through the airport. Another thing to note is that Stuka actually makes a bundle option, which gives you the chance to buy a backpack along with it, which actually hooks onto these side hooks right here, matches the color of the suitcase, and it's a whole thing that all fits together. We chose not to go that route because I had already had a backpack for my son, uh, but just so you know, that is an option. And then just so you know, this box actually comes in different colors. So we got the blue, but there's also green, pink, black, and white. The last thing, if you didn't notice, are the stickers. The suitcase comes with two sheets of travel themed stickers. So my son had so much fun placing these stickers all around the luggage to kind of make it his own. So now let's look inside. You can see on the sides of the suitcase are these handles right here. This is nice, again, if you want to just lift the suitcase, but what they do is they're buttons, they just push in, and then you can lift up the top. So here is the top of the suitcase. We will talk about this in a minute. This is the inside of the case. And then you can see inside there is the cushion for the bed. I'll go over that in a second and how to roll it out and actually use it as a bed on the airplane. So if you're not familiar with Stuka products, they're all very, very functional, practical, ergonomic, everything like that. And so I'm not surprised that the inside of this has storage but as well is functional for the bed piece. And so here's the lid. So all you have to do is slide this up and then you can see you get extra storage in here. And then you can also take the lid 
push the buttons in, and then you guessed it, it slides down like this. So this is going to be a nice footrest and also part of the bed experience. But first I wanna talk about what I packed inside of this because I was surprised at how much I could fit into the actual luggage. Because like I said, when I was doing the research and I was thinking, oh, well, it's not very big and maybe the, the bedroll will take up most of the size, but I found that I was able to fit what I needed to as far as essentials. All right, first I wanna go through what I put inside of the lid. I found that as soon as we took off and we were able to set this thing up, I wanted to use this as a footrest for my son, um, not just a bed, like, but it was just more comfortable for him to sit and put his feet up here. And so we left it like this for most of the flight. But then I found that I didn't wanna be like reaching, you know, taking this off again to get into this container. And so put your, um, quick grab items that you want on top. Including the bed cushion, here's everything that I was able to fit inside of the bed box. First essential is a backup diaper or pull up and wipes. So you wanna make sure that you have quick access to those. And then obviously snacks. So between diaper wipes and snacks, it's not plump full. I mean, you can fit maybe like a pacifier in here or anything else that you might need quick access to close that up and then in the main compartment i just i just put the bedroll in there travel blanket and a packing cube with spare clothing pro tip packing cubes are life contain all of your items make it easier on yourself i love packing cubes i use them for everything my husband makes fun of me because all of my luggage is just bags within a bag throw that in there because you never know when you're going to need a spare outfit and then also just a couple of books as well. I didn't want to put the books inside of his backpack because these are heavy and usually inside of his backpack are the things that I want him to be able to play with, like a coloring book and his little action figurines. So books go inside of here. And that's that. You can see plenty of space left again. Okay, I was surprised at how much I could fit in here. Like I said, essentials putting most things in his suitcase or my carry-on. But I do wanna note on that, that the sides of this suitcase, the plastic is, I found that this was quite flexible. So you don't wanna overpack it. So after all your stuff is in, you would just pop the top back on and you are good to go. By the way, I will link this exact bed box and anything else that I have mentioned in this video in the description box below. All right, let's talk about how to set up this bed. But really quick, just remember that the bed box does have to be under the seat in front of you for takeoff and landing. And like I said, as soon as we were up in the air and able, I pulled this out and I was setting it up just as the footrest because again, I just found that it was more comfortable for my toddler to have his feet up and resting rather than his feet just kind of hanging over the seat. So we had it out the entire flight. All right, for the bed tutorial, we are on the floor. <laughs> so pretend that we are in an airplane. You have your bed set up in front of you. The nice thing about the top as well is that it can be at different levels. So this is all the way down and then this is all the way up. So you would just wanna make it level with the airplane seat. All right, then you are going to slide the footrest out to match the seat. The top has a lid to keep the contents inside the lid secure and that kind of clicks into place as well. So now you have this nice extended area for feet. I would say this gives you another foot of leg room here, of nice space. Take the mattress, unsnap it, and roll it out. Comes as two different pieces here. The bottom piece has these little rubber grips on them to just kind of stay secure on the airplane seat. It also has these little wings on each side to protect where the armrests are, which I found is really nice too, because now nothing is falling down in here. So even if your child is awake, uh, you can set this up and so nothing is falling in between the seats. So imagine again, you're in an airplane and here are the seats. And then this is the foot piece. It goes like this with this tray out because this piece right here has these little elastic pieces that actually attach to the um, plastic piece up here. So you slide this on and then that's holding right here. Part has a snap and this piece has a snap as well. So you just put these pieces together like so and here you go. Now you have a nice bed for your child for the airplane. Beautiful.
rest, rest peacefully for the entire flight, right? All right, when you are ready to roll this up, all you have to do is take this apart, put the foot piece in the middle here, flaps in, roll, and then conveniently, like I said, they think of everything, conveniently just snaps together like a nice little sleeping bag. Perfect. Put it back in, you're good to go. All right, I wanna talk about ultimately why I chose this luggage bed box combination compared to some other things on the market. First of all, this is super convenient for us. My son hasn't liked being in a stroller since he was like one year old, so it's always tough to kind of wrangle a toddler. They walk slow or they get tired and they wanna be held. And so this is just really convenient and easy for us to get through the airport while he was having fun. Win win. Obviously, portability is a big consideration when you're thinking about luggage and traveling. I loved that the wheels are 360 and so it's easy to just navigate and pull. Also, this is very lightweight, so I'm not really concerned with some bulky suitcase that's heavy, but at the same time, it's durable and it's sturdy. It's made with high quality materials and obviously you get what you pay for. I mean, this is expensive, but I can tell that this is going to hold up really well over time. I would say probably one of the things that I love the most is that this is a two in one. It's a suitcase and it's a bed. And they've obviously made it very specific for that reason. But the first thing that I started looking for was bed options, like how to sleep on the airplane. And I was coming up with like those blow up footrests or just a cushion that folds out. And I would be happy in another video to go into why I didn't choose those or maybe like the pros and cons to consider in each situation. But when it came down to it, I just figured, hey, this is two in one, it's obviously made exactly for this. Next thing is the size and space. So inside I was able to fit, like I said, all of the essentials that I needed for my toddler and his carry-on items. And then size-wise, this fits the dimensions that is required to fit under the seat and as a carry-on size on so many different airlines. And actually they have a list on their website of airlines that are approved for this bed box. What I found is that you actually really wanna be mindful of what different airlines will allow for things, not only like the luggage, but also the bed component on their airlines. It's kid-friendly, hello. <laughs> You can see that the color is great. The stickers are great. I mean, this is obviously marketed exactly for kids compared to just your standard luggage or even some of those kid specific luggages that have like Lightning McQueen on the side. I mean, those are great, don't get me wrong, but again, it's a whole package. I also chose this because the bed, because it fits obviously inside, easy to set up and the bed specifications. So I mentioned this just briefly, but I was actually learning that not all airlines will allow that inflatable footrest or it's not safe to use one of those hammock style beds overnight when I might be sleeping and my son is sleeping and maybe that's a risk. So this checks all the boxes for safety. And another thing that was really important to me is this can be used up to age seven. So that was really important because I know that we're gonna get another few years out of this. Okay, lastly, we will talk about the price. Now, I, I have been mentioning that this is not cheap the whole time. This bed box situation comes in at $229 for the box alone. You can also get the backpack is $69 and then their bundle price is $249, I believe. So you do save a little bit of money from you know getting the bundle, but all in all, like I said, this was totally worth it for the investment for us. I would purchase it again. I would recommend it 100%. Um, if you have young kids, definitely, definitely look into it. Okay, my friends, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you're traveling to Iceland and are looking for some tips on how to travel with kids, then definitely check out the video that's popping up on the screen next. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, happy planning.